For Caleb Dahlgren, the hockey rink is his happy place. When you're out there, it just feels effortless. And it feels like you're flying in a sense. Like you're just gliding on the ice. And it feels like high speed, obviously, because you are going really fast. And it feels super smooth. Smooth is not how you describe the past three years of his life. I feel the pain, I feel the hurt, but I also feel comfort and lots of emotions when they come here every time. Life is so short and fragile. It was here that the Humboldt Broncos bus crashed on the way to a playoff game in April 2018. Everything changed. I still can't remember anything that has happened. 13 players, including Dahlgren, were injured. 16 players, coaches, and staff members died. We are at one of the biggest crossroads in my life, but there was many before, and there'll be many afterwards. And uh, we all have a different crossroads and how we want to choose to respond to them. Is there any pressure that- Dahlgren left the hospital recovering from his own brain, neck, and back injuries, struggling to come to terms with what happened, a journey he describes in a new book. I do want to make an impact on this world. I want to leave a positive impact. And so I thought by doing a book, I could leave my positive mark on the world and honestly set down the Broncos side of me. Setting down that side has proven difficult. He couldn't walk down the street without being stopped by strangers who wanted to ask him about the crash. So he found a spot by the river to escape. This was my place to get away, to hide in a sense, but also to heal too. To grow, to learn, to understand, to conquer, but also to feel a sense of healing and hope for the future that was to come, but also to reflect on what has been lost and what I've been through. While reflecting, he noticed the birds on the bridge and the stars in the sky, inspiration for this tattoo. And the stick and the puck, where we had a bond through hockey on ice. And the skate marks are the scars sketched into my soul. 13 birds in a V formation. And it's for the 13 survivors of that day. We have 16 stars up in here and the 16 stars are the ones that aren't here who shine their light on my soul. And the light beams for finding the positive overnight of even in the darkest times. And to be that light. Oh, good try! Before the crash, Dahlgren was offered a spot on the York University hockey team. The same team his Broncos assistant coach Mark Cross had been on. When Mark Cross, who's the epitome of being a lion, says someone else is a lion, it made it very easy to make a decision on, on Caleb. Despite his injuries, Dahlgren practiced and worked out with the team, but was never cleared to play in a game. It's pretty surreal. Unbelievable, honestly. Now, with his book launched and about to graduate with a commerce degree, Dahlgren is planning on a career as a chiropractor, hoping to help others as he also continues to heal. At the end of the day, there's so much strength in being vulnerable and opening yourself up. And I think this can hopefully develop some conversations around other people's households and also generate some awareness around topics that aren't really discussed. And so I wanted to use it to help. And I think that in return, it's helped me just as much, if not even more. The wind goes through your hair and you can hear your skates. And that was what I fell in love with at the start. And that's what I still love about the sport today. Dahlgren's days of competitive hockey may be over, but so much of his life is still ahead of him, and he's grateful. You can't just get away from what happened. I think you have to face it head on, honestly, and you have to use it either as motivation or as something that you want to make a difference. But you still have to try to find the positive, and you have to be thankful that you're here and make the most of every day. Dahlgren is skating confidently into his future living every day in memory of those 16 who can't. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.